thousand-year-old cross buried in Scotland thought to have belonged to a king. An Anglo-Saxon silver cross dating back to the 10th century has been given a serious spruce up, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Following years of careful conservation work, the Scottish artifact is showing its true colors. In the process, experts are given a glimpse into a crucial period of British history. Part of 2014's headline-grabbing Galloway Hoard, it was wrapped in a parcel and buried approximately AD 900. There was also a serious buildup of dirt that needed to be cleaned off. Conservators reportedly used a special porcupine quill capable of scraping away the crud without marking the treasure. What patent history hounds have revealed is a pectoral cross decorated using black nilo and gold leaf, according to CNN, nilo being a compound made from elements such as sulfur and silver. Crafted in Old Northumbria, it was intended to be worn around the neck as demonstrated by the accompanying spiral chain. The design on the cross features New Testament gospel authors Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, or rather their earthly symbols, writes the Independent, a man, a lion, a cow, and an eagle, respectively. The level of workmanship is taking people's breath away, even though they can't stop talking about it. Quoted by The Observer, principal curator Dr. Martin Goldberg describes the items is just spectacular. He adds, there really isn't a parallel. Reports make reference to one other 9th century cross known to exist, only this one lacks the gorgeous detail of display here. Because the cross is assumed to be part of Viking blunder, he also calls it one of the survivals. Who knows why it was buried or what would have happened had the individual concerned dug it up again. Quoted by the Daily Record, Goldberg says the find reveals a whole new set of questions. For example, was it destined to be melted down into the types of ingots it was found with? As the Independent notes, the Galloway Hoard is the richest and rarest collection of Viking-era objects ever to be found in Britain and Ireland. Consigned to the earth in four parcels, it was resurrected centuries later by metal detectorist Derek McLennan. When McLennan pulled the cross from the sand, he thought it was a muck-encrusted spoon. Alongside this were the aforementioned ingots, together with ancient jewelry and a gold pin shaped like a bird. National Museum Scotland also highlights a decorated silver gilt vessel, the only complete lidded vessel of its type ever discovered in Britain and Ireland. Experts are amazed the wrapping material made it through the ages to boot. There are over 100 items in the hoard, valued at a jaw-dropping $3 million. The cross's incredible condition surely makes the treasure even more valuable. The Independent reports, it may have been made for a high-standing cleric or even a king, such as its luster. McLennan stumbled upon a small fortune, but the Church of Scotland challenged his right to enjoy the profits last year. They claim because the hoard was found on church land, half the money should go to them. According to a 2019 article from The Independent, the detectorist and businessman promised to split the proceeds. Under Scottish law, however, it appears to be a case of finder's keepers. Aside from its monetary value, the cross also represents a turbulent and fascinating time when Scotland and others were forming into their own nations. Additionally, the find suggests greater Viking involvement in the area beyond swooping in to raid churches, Professor Goldberg says the mixed material of the Galloway Horde exemplifies this dynamic political and cultural environment. The Observer, National Museums, Scotland, plans a public tour of the hoard, provisionally running from February to May. That might be subject to change with a pandemic at large. But this amazing silver cross has waited a thousand years to dazzle onlookers. Another few months won't hurt. The world is filled with stories going viral every single day. But how many of these sites can you actually follow? We understand that your day should start with positive stories, stories that resonate with you. And so we started JoJo Stories. Our mission is to create meaningful stories that cover everything from animals to anthropology, history to environment and lifestyle. The kind of content you read on our site will be one you'll want to share with your family and friends. We hope you'll join our growing family and be part of our community. Welcome to JoJo Stories. JoJoStories.com